The sky is dark and creepy. This McDonald's is very dark. But oh, buckets are back. And we're gonna go get some. Here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. I like how as I went like this, there was like a flash behind me, like I have mystical powers with my hellos. <laughs> but hi, it's been a little while since I've been here. Things have been crazy. Um, I had surgery. I had my sister removed, which is healing well. I'm super excited about that. I've been in the process of both cleaning and packing and getting stuff scheduled for the move. So I took a trip down to North Carolina for a week and cleaned the house to make sure it was moving ready for both Jacob and I, his transition back and my transition down south. So the movers, the truck is everything is all set. Um, my living room is packed. That's about it. I still need to make headway otherwise. <laughs> so the living room is all in boxes. I still need to pack up the Funko Bunko. I still need to pack the bedroom. I still need to pack the kitchen. I basically need to do everything other than pack the living room, but it's exciting. It's a lot to do, but I will be very, very excited once I am down there since I am driving the U-Haul from New York to North Carolina. Once that's over, like the stress will be like way down since driving a big U-Haul is scary. All of this is a lot, but the process will be worth it. <laughs> I, it it's just a lot. So I haven't been able to make videos as often as I liked, as I would like to, but today is an exciting day because we are at McDonald's and that's because Boo Buckets are back. Boo Buckets! So I'm sure you guys remember the epic Boo Bucket quest last year where I was trying to seek out all four Boo Buckets. I eventually got all four with your guys' help. Um, different locations that had them. Some of them in my area only had like one at a time, but other areas had like all four at once. So I'm not sure how they're gonna do it this year. But this year they also have new designs. And I'm bringing up my phone now to reference this. There's a orange, white, purple, and green boo bucket. The green one is Frankenstein. Purple is Dracula. Orange, of course, is a pumpkin, and white is a mummy. Now, I really want the Frankenstein and the Dracula. The pumpkin's also really cute, too. He's making, like, a face. <laughs> the mummy, the mummy has been around years back, too. It's not, like, the same design. Oh, I'm going to post it over here. It's not the same design as the others, so I don't feel like it has that vintage boo bucket feel. I know they had those back in the day. I still, I like the little graphic of the little face. I just literally bonked myself in the glasses. I don't know if that picked up on camera. That was painful. <laughs> I'm all over the place. You can tell that I haven't filmed in like months because I'm like, hey, I'm gonna punch my face off in the face and then we're gonna go get boo buckets. So yeah, but also in exciting news, there is a Funko of um, the McNugget. I'm gonna put it here. The Frankenstein McNugget and the Boo Buckets. And this was a New York Comic Con exclusive. It sold out really fast. I wasn't able to get it. But look how cute this guy is. Everyone is embracing the Boo Buckets. Loungefly, and you guys tagged me in this as well, came out with Boo Bucket purses that you could see here. It's it's boo bucket madness. It has not subsided. Like last year, it was a full force when they released them for the first time. And then this year, 
it's even more. We have Funkos, we have purses. I'm sure there's more. Um, Burger King has made their own bucket. It's for their ghost pepper sandwich, which I will not be trying because it'll be way too hot for me. I'm a wuss when it comes to anything hot. So that's not something I will be doing a review of. The bucket looks cute. I like the little chickens and stuff. So you guys should check that out here. I'll put a picture of that here too, because it's super cute. But uh, Tim Hortons has their bucket again with the Timbits. It glows in the dark. So there's a lot of exciting stuff going on for Halloween. and. We're going to go through the drive through and see if we can get ourselves at least one of the boo buckets. I'm hoping they have like all the designs and I can just get all four at once, but we'll see. So let's, let's go look. So like I <laughs> showed before the intro, this McDonald's is very dark. Like for some reason their lights are not on. I don't, I still don't think the lights are on, but, um, we're going to film this and I hope you guys can see because it is kind of dark. You can see the reflection of my rear view camera in my glasses now because it's so dark. So um we're gonna we're gonna go get some boo buckets in the dark on this spooky October night. It's busy here. I don't know if it's just because it's dinner time. I don't know if it's because of boo buckets but we're we're gonna go try to get some boo buckets and and yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm sure you guys are doing something similar. I know that you guys were saying um, last year that you were all going out to get the boo bucket. So I haven't seen any like official like, oh look at this, I'm all red in the brake lights. It's a, it's a very spooky experience here at McDonald's. But yeah, I haven't seen any like true confirmation that the boo buckets are here today. I like this. I'm just going to be a red floating head for all of my videos now. Just this. Um, or at least as long as the brake lights are on ahead of me. Now I don't see here the boo buckets advertised. They have some limited time sauces advertised. There's a sweet and spicy jam, a mumbo sauce. Maybe they will be at the, oh, there it is. I see it already. Yay. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. We'll be your mobile app today. Hi, um, no, uh, what boo buckets do you have available? We only have purple. Okay, could I get um, one of that with chicken nuggets? For a Happy Meal? Yep. Okay, uh, for six nuggets? Uh, six with barbecue sauce. What's the drink? Uh, Diet Coke. Anything else? That's it. All right, then your total is going to come off to 627. Have a nice night. Okay, thanks. So they said they only have the purple one available, which is my number one pick. I, I'm i very excited. I That's what I would have chosen. I like the um, green one, second place, I think. But yeah, that's definitely my number one pick. So maybe we can just be one and done this year. Maybe I will still collect all four. It's hard to decide. These are complicated decisions in the life of boo bucket collecting. And Jacob and I were talking about how um, much the original boo buckets go for. I'm not sure, like neither one of us have one. So I don't know. Hi. Hi. Like um, no thanks. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Yay. So the boo bucket is 647, which is not bad. Um, the big kids happy meals and stuff that I was getting were like $12 each. So this is a better price. A smaller meal, but a better price. And I chose the McNuggets one with barbecue sauce. And it's going to be a little purple vampire. I just, I'm so excited. It's the one I wanted the most. Oh, and I did notice that the McDonald's sign is now lit up. So we are back in business. Not quite as spooky anymore, but still Halloween-y. It's almost our turn. Teeny tiny drink. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, it was given to me with the handle only half on. It's a half handle. 
going to have to go around. It looks like everyone's pulling up for their orders. So let's spin around and go over here and open our bull bucket. I guess first I have to fix the handle. So. go in there oh, there we go look at our little vampire look how cute so does he have different faces like oh so here's like a worrisome vampire and here's a happy vampire and then here's a raw vampire so let's see what's in this guy this year I noticed I have the witch handle like the little hat I'm not sure what's supposed to be on the Dracula I'm not sure if it's a witch hat or if it's something else. I know last year I got one of them that didn't have the right handle. So it's possible, but I'm wondering like what else you would put on top of a vampire. So maybe, maybe this is the right handle. We'll see. And the stickers are back. I love the stickers. I don't know how I forgot about them. That was almost one of my favorite parts of this. So we have our fries. We have apple slices we have mcnuggets we have sauce and we have a little vampire head all right so let's decorate our vampire so there's two different set of eyes there's sunglasses eyes and then like worried eyes i think i'm gonna go with sunglasses eyes because why not he can be stylish so here we go he has some eyeballs there's um two choices of noses I guess I'll go with a longer nose maybe I should have put the sunglasses on before the nose but that's okay so now we need a mouth so one mouth has a tongue one does not they both have fangs so I think we're gonna go with the tongue mouth oh no we're not because I just ripped the corner off maybe we can still fix it actually it doesn't look too bad without the corner on there I'm just gonna put this over here and see if we can reattach it sorry buddy I'm sorry I ripped your mouth there we go good as new and now oh I saw I didn't even notice there were little just little fang mouths too so this one's very frowny this one's kind of just normal and then there's also eyebrows so this one has eyebrows I guess these eyebrows over here are made for our sunglasses friend and I was able to get that eyebrow off without ripping it I think the stickers are my favorite part. I actually, and I don't even know why, I kept <laughs> this from last year. I had it hanging on the fridge, and while I was like taking off magnets and packing, I um, found it again. But yeah, look at our little friend. Look how cute he is. He's all happy. He's ready for, um, I guess, to go out in the sunlight because he has sunglasses on. Maybe they're like vampire proof glasses so he doesn't have to burn alive in the sunshine <laughs> but I think we're gonna try to hit up one more McDonald's to see if we can get a different kind I really want that Frankenstein one too I already have a pumpkin from last year the mummy's kind of so-so in my opinion since it doesn't have this graphic smile that I love so much so yeah let's go see if maybe we can find a Frankenstein boo bucket so let's go Oh, I just noticed the sign with our spooky little boo bucket friend that we just got on there. So I guess the witch's hat is correct. And then look, along here there's spooky little ghosts. I've got pumpkins in my pockets. I've got pumpkins. I've got pumpkins. I've got pumpkins in my pockets. I've got pumpkins in my pockets. I've got pumpkins in my pockets. I've got pumpkins. I've got pumpkins. I've got pumpkins in my pockets. I've got pumpkins in my pockets. I've got pumpkins in my pockets. I've got pumpkins. I've got pumpkins. I've got pumpkins in my pockets. McDonald's number two. All right, so we 
are rooting for the Frankenstein Boo Bucket. That is the other one that I want. I already have a pumpkin, the mummy one I'm so-so on. So let's see if they have Frankenstein. Hi, um, no, uh, what kind of boo buckets do you have? Um, there's orange, green, and purple. Um, could I get a green one, please? Uh, cheeseburger? Okay. And, um, a pumpkin, too, cheeseburger? The orange? The orange one? Yep. And that's it. What drinks did you like? Uh, Diet Coke. Both of them? Yep. Right. So you want an orange or green? Yes. Alright, you're off awesome. Okay, thank you. No Yay! We got them all! I was just gonna get the green one, and then I was like, no, I want the pumpkin too. <laughs> And we can get them all done in one shot. I know there's no mommy, but that one was low on the list. I just, I like their little faces. Like, look, the, the cute little face. I feel like that's like the OG boo bucket. The, I mean, they had the mummy one too back in the day. I never liked that one. I don't know. How do you guys feel about the mummy versus like the cute little face? Like, I feel like they should still have like maybe the eyes poking out and then the mummy wrapping around it so you still have that cute little face i don't know are you guys against the mummy as much as i am leave a comment and let me know maybe i'm being mean to the mummy <laughs> thank you you too yay i can't believe i got them all done in one shot i was not expecting that whatsoever oh no now i have two cheeseburgers that I don't know. I guess I'm having McDonald's for dinner. <laughs> this wasn't even the plan. I'm like, yay, McDonald's! And then, yeah, I, I guess I'm having some cheeseburgers. <laughs> yay! Now we're gonna find a spot to park and look at our boot buckets. This is very exciting. I'm excited. Like. When they first came out, I was like, I don't know. I got them last year. Maybe I don't care that much about boo buckets this year. No, it turns out I care. I still want boo buckets. <laughs> so we're gonna find a spot to park and then we're gonna look at our boo buckets and our stickers. And I'm excited. And we're gonna drive around this way. You can see the fall colors behind me. Do 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 boo buckets. For now, I'm unwrapping the straw because I got one of these little guys before and drank it in like three sips because you know it's teeny tiny. So we already have our vampire friend. Now we have a pumpkin friend and and a. And a Frank, I almost said a witch. This is not a witch. A Frankenstein head. And I was realizing, so there's no witch this year. So it looks like they just like repurposed the witch handle from last year for this guy. Like I said, I don't know what you would put on a uh, vampire. But Frankenstein too just has the pumpkin handle. So I thought maybe he would just have the pumpkin handle. I don't know. I don't know how they go about this. I don't know what the decision making process is, but here's our little pumpkin. Let's look at the little faces. Okay, so here he's kind of worried, like, oh, oh no, everyone's gonna eat my insides. And then we have <laughs> this goofy face, like, ee! Then, oh wow, this one's really happy. I thought this was the happy one. This one's like, ah! <laughs> like, insanely happy. And then we have Frankenstein here. And here he's a little worried. I can't make my mouth go in that um, wiggle pattern. So, well, and then, ah, or a, like half smile, like, <laughs> so let's look at the stickers because that's my favorite part. So we have a 
Frankenstein head here on the back. And we have a lot of eye choices. So it looks like ones, um, so these look like pretty eyes. These ones are kind of like bug eyes. Let's go with the bug eyes, I think. This is hard to decide. All right. So we'll go with some buggy eyes. And then we need to decide on a nose. One's like a little piggy nose. And then one's like a regular nose. I think we're going to go with the what nose. We'll go with the regular nose. Yes, I am happy with this decision. So there he is with his little regular nose. What do we have next? We have mouths. There's a bunch of mouths. Okay, so we have teeth like the uh, vampire. And then, oh, there's like a sewn, maybe that's a scar. I think I'm gonna make that a scar instead of a mouth. It may be a scar, I'm not sure. Okay, I think we're gonna go with this. Do I want the little toothy mouth or the happy mouth? What did we use for? Oh, we're, um, here we go. So, I guess we're going to make them happy. Here, let's turn some lights on so you guys can see a little better. We'll go with a happy mouth. And then, that scar I was talking about. So far, I haven't ripped any of them this time. That's good. So, we'll put a little scar on him and then we have his bolts oh wait there's also eyebrows all right we'll do the eyebrows first so there's one there we go and now it's time for the bolts going in the neck or he doesn't really have a neck i guess like the side of his face here there we go look how cute Look how cute he is! So these two can be besties. And now we have one last one, which is do, 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 if I could reach it. This pumpkin one. And the pumpkin one is actually a skeleton and not a pumpkin, which is confusing, but that's okay. But I do really like these heart eyes. That's definitely what we're going with since we've decided to go like the happy route. So we're gonna put some little hard eyes on the skeleton that is not a pumpkin for some weird reason. Uh, we're gonna put a little, so there's these little dot nose and then this little triangle one. And for some reason, I think skeletons have triangle noses. That's just how they're usually depicted. So we have that. This is actually a really cute skull. I almost got a tattoo like this back in the day. I think we're gonna go with the squiggle smile. Again, happy, but this one won't have teeth for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why, but that's the way we're doing this. So we have a little squiggle smile. And then what other options do we have here? It looks like there's like some scarring again. I'm not really sure what that is, but oh, I think it's a crack in the skull. So there we go. I think those are all the options we put the little eyes and mouths on so now let's look at all our little friends I'm sorry I don't have the mummy it wasn't available if it was I would have gotten it regardless even though I liked it the least of the four so there we go look at all our little friends we did so good I got all the ones I wanted in one go last time it took like weeks to collect them all so we're already off to a great start like this is great. So maybe if Jacob goes, he could get the mummy and we could have a complete collection, including the ones last year. So we'll have all eight. So I don't know if I showed off all the faces because I just saw this cute little winky Frankenstein. And did I miss a face? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. But <laughs> at least I'm showcasing this one. Look how cute that is. He is so cute. So thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited I got all the boo buckets I wanted in one go. I mean, it took two McDonald's, but still, like, 
that's a lot better than last year. Like I said, it took weeks to get them all. So we're off to a good start. Um, just need that one more. And that one I'm like, eh, on. So yeah, hopefully um, it comes my way. If not, I am happy with these three. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I'm hoping to be having um, more content uploaded. I know things are busy right now and you know that things are busy right now so hopefully there's a little bit of slack and that you guys won't forget about me while I'm transitioning for the move and everything. Um, I still have a cameo. I still have a Patreon. Um, yeah. I guess that's it. I hope to see you guys soon. Like I said, Christmas is coming so there's going to be Christmas content. I'm going to have like as much as possible while trying to get everything else in order. So thank you so much. Thank you for all the well wishes while I was having surgery. Um, I haven't gotten the biopsy results back but it sounds like no news is good news so I'm thinking everything is good which is good. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for everyone that came out to Everhaunt. I went with Jacob and I met some people that I've talked to on this channel. So that was a great time. And I think that's it. <laughs> Bye.